welcome to a new playthrough of Tintin Reporter, Cigars of the Pharaoh. Um, I used to love Tintin as a kid, and I saw this game get announced, and when it came out, I was like, yeah, let's give that a go. Um, I haven't done YouTube videos in a little while, I've had like a bit going on in my life, so I thought, let's pack it in for now and come back. So, we're back, and we're going to see if we can post a little bit more regularly, um, and this is going to be what we're going to play to kick it off. Uh, so let's jump in. I did start to play it a little bit, uh, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna start a new game. Uh, yes, let's do this. So yeah, I uh, used to like the books um, and the movies of like the animated ones of Tintin. Back in the day, there was a mate of mine who uh, used to have them all as well. Um, so when I when I went around his, we always used to put Tintin on. Um, he had them all on like DVD and stuff, so just good memories of Tintin. And actually, that uh, I think it's Spielberg movie, the newer one, is pretty awesome as well. If, if you haven't seen it, dear editor in chief, I know it's been a long time since I last wrote to you, but when you hear what I've been through to get where I am, you'll understand. It all started on the MS Epimeo, the cruise ship that was taking me to Shanghai. Now this is, I don't know if it's fully based on like it's the exact story, but this is one of the books, one of the older books I remember reading ah, before, so. Magnificent cruise. Don't you think, Snowy? Snowy looks cute. Looks accurate. I'm liking the look. Ooh, okay. Pink Tin's face is a little bit interesting. Snowy, there's no way you can be hungry again. Stop it! Catch it! Stop what? Catch what? Are you all right, sir? I love the crazy the kiosk professor. Virus. It's blowing away. I'll catch it for you. He looks a bit more. Run, Snowy. Oh, okay. If We're we doing lose stuff. sight of it, we'll never get it. And then A to jump. Okay. Hey, Quick watch time. Out. Pardon me. Oh, already, we're we're in. Hey, I missed it. Better slow down, kiddo. Hey. Ah, oh, come on, pal. I just mopped that. It's at least a little bit forgiving because I missed one and uh, we did it right. No. Turn. Turn. Yes. Oh. No. This paper's absolutely flying. Hey, you. Oh. What do you oh. think you're doing? Oh, I think Get I missed some more there. You're gonna fall and break your neck. You hear me? Get down from there, I said. There you go. I'm right, so sir. bad with quick time events. Where is it? Where is it? There. Oh no, not again. Next time you finish mopping, pal. Oh. Where did it go? Where is it? There you are. Oh, what a fool. Why do you push it like that? Sir. Excuse me coming through. Huh. Jumping around like that. Hey, we've got this. Sorry. We've got this. I need to focus. Oh my goodness. There you go. Goodness gracious. Oh, that's my thoughts Ooh, exactly. Get out of here, scallywag. This paper is going absolutely oh, no. mental. It's heading straight for the water. It went into that tube. Okay. Think. Quick times are all done. They haven't seen it. Oh. There it is. Let's go, Snow. Oh no, we'll more. Why is that boy running? I hope this uh, game isn't all quick time events. I think the papyrus. What's your purpose? Because it could be a struggle. That boy's a thief. Scallywag. Stop the thief. Oh no. Go, 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 go. Stop it. It said I missed that one, but I definitely didn't. Oh, we did it. Yeah, the professor seems a bit more accurate to like the the comics than Tintin's face. Oh, a 
lost her boy. And so pale. You must be hungry. Let us buy you something to eat. Storm it! Oh, smash. Let me go! Boom. Escape, thief. But I'm not a thief. Um, I was trying to help. Seems like the right thing to say, right? I was trying to help that gentleman catch his papyrus. But he was running after you. He's not. We the were both running after the, the drawer, papyrus. Ah, uh, that makes sense. I'm uh, sorry. You better be. That document seemed very important to the poor. Hello? He's disappeared. Uh, he snuck up to the top deck, followed by a little pooch. They were looking for some food. How do you see all that? Snowy, how stubborn. Oh, 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 oh. I'm afraid that deck is restricted. Some cinema people booked it. It's just for them. That glutton dog. I have to stop him. Poor gentleman. Well... I guess I owe you so. Yeah, that's right. Sort me out. Come with me. Thank you. Oh, sometimes snowy is like a stomach on legs, you know. But don't tell anyone that I let you in. Your secret is safe with me. Where could they have gone? Okay. Okay, it's a little less quick timey now, which is good. What am I looking for? There's a lady here. Hello. Oh, you can talk to him. I'd better not disturb her. She seems quite focused on her reading. Fair enough. I won't talk to her then. What about this fella? Bonjour. Good morning, sir. Did you see a little dog Prepare with Prepare to die! Spiegel the evil weasel! <gasps> Who are you? Now I must start the scene from the top again. But you could have hurt me! You certainly deserve it. For interrupting my scene! He's intense. Yeah, I do seem to remember that there's a lot of, uh... A lot of kind of interesting characters, should we say. My word, actors can be so vain. Okay, so actor who's got a riding crop, it looks like. Oh, there's a guy with his head stuck Hello. in the gate. Are you all right? Good morning, sir. Um, may I help you, sir? It looks like you could use the help a lot more than me. Uh, if that's your wish, sir, I'd be happy to let you help me, sir. Uh, man with a white dog. Have you perchance seen a white dog with a tall man in a top hat? I have, sir. The man bumped into me, made me lose my step, and then I found myself in this peculiar position, sir. Right, enough with the sir. He apologized, Jeez. called me madam, and asked me for the way to the kitchen, sir. Then he went that way, sir, uh, saying, You'll eat very soon, young man. The young man looked quite pleased, sir. Weird. I mean, uh, the dog, uh, sir. All right, let me think. How can we get your head out from... If I may, sir, that might not be the kind of help I'm in urgent need of right now, sir. Would you be so kind as to order me to give you these glasses, sir? Yes, I can do that. And then be extremely careful not to lose the ring that lies at the bottom of one of the glasses, sir? Um, yes, I can do that too. And then order me to let you give them to the gentleman who gave me the ring and ordered the glasses, sir? Uh, oh close goodness. to the other stairs, sir? Yes, Maybe you can I just can tell me what's that. going on. He's obviously someone's proposing, right? Glad to be of service, sir. Uh, please be quick. 
cinema people have a very short fuse, and I wouldn't like them to get me fired. Okay, so we've got glasses that have to go... I don't think it's to him. He didn't exactly look like he was waiting on an engagement, did he? There was a lady over here. Maybe... Him. Oh. You Boom. Just saved my life, young Smashed man. it. And now, on with my life's plot point. <sighs> my dear Matilda. Oh, breakfast. Mm. Champers for breakfast. My Love dear it. Matilda. It's a fancy way to start the day. Uh, my dearest Marvin, at last. There's a moment in your life that your heart, uh, my heart, our hearts. As we grow older, certain things uh, no, are unhealthy for our hearts. My dearest Marvin, it was about time one of us said it. Oh. Oh, my dear. Dear Matilda, so so you feel the same way. I uh... we're growing older. Mm. And this kind of breakfast is not healthy for the heart. Enough. Oh, no. <gasps> I think I'd probably not not end up proposing just because of that. <laughs> Thank you very much, my dearest Marvin. Mm. I mean, she's right. It's not a healthy breakfast. You're welcome, my dear Matilda. But I'd be fuming. Well, there you go. We kind of helped, I guess. This is why, if you're going to propose, don't mess around with all these like things that could go wrong. It just seems like a like a bad idea. Sir, uh, may I presume that you delivered the glasses, sir? Indeed. Now, don't you think it's time we did something about your head? Um. Uh, yes, sir. If that's your wish, uh, sir. So I'm going to push and. Oh no, sir. If I may suggest, you might not want to do that. I already tried, but the skin on my neck stuck to the metal bar and wouldn't budge. Maybe I could try to get something that makes the bar slippery enough. As you wish, sir. I am here to serve you, sir. What would there be that makes... Maybe like sun cream? Because we're on, like, the sun deck of a boat. I would say I quite like the, um, the kind of, uh, little details. Like, that's, it looks very nice like that. It's just the thing I'm not sure about is, it just doesn't look like Tintin. The face is a little bit too, I don't know. I, I can't quite put my finger on why it is, but there's something that I'm not crazy about. Arabian Nights, directed by Mel G. Ford. Arabian Nights. Oh, what's that? How do I do a photo? There's obviously a way to do a photo here. It hasn't prompted me to be able to do that yet, so I'm guessing I can't do it. Oh! Oh, there. That's nice and easy. I want to get the name and the guy. When playing Tintin, or when playing as Tintin, look for spots to take pics and unlock new content in your diary. Oh, that's a great picture, right? Love it. Okay, so I've got to look out for photo spots as well. What's that? This cruise ship is named after Mount Epimeo on the little island of Ischia in Italy. Oh, that's a nice little fact. Tintin, I think, from what I remember, was always full of those little little factoids because he was like a reporter, so he always knew something. Oh, I see a triangle. Maybe I could put one of them between the bars where the waiter's head is stuck. 
then inflate it so the bars bend. But no, they're iron bars. It would never work. Okay, so we've got an idea, but besides, bad one. hmm, why is it open? Did someone fall into the water? Hmm, that's an interesting question. Why is it open? Um, so I need to find, okay, it's sunscreen, olive oil, butter, something like that, right? Without alcohol would be that good. Oh, you see my little move there. Oh, I can go up here. Ah ha ha ha. You look like you've got something for me. Be careful, I'm waxing the floor. Funny you should and say that. Slippery. Oh, thanks. It looks like a really tough chore. Are you kidding me? Waxing the floor is the best chore Not ever. crazy about that voice. And the lower you keep your head, the less likely people will come and whack it. That's my one and only motto. By the way, there's something I'd like to ask you. Can I borrow your can of wax for a friend? It'll just take a minute. Be generous to people who ask you for wax. That's my one and only motto. Is his... I just saw his... Uh, the brush in his hand was like ghostly. And like, you could see the either... Or maybe the water like texture was above it. That was a bit strange. I didn't like that voice acting. So I, I feel like... So I, I think this is made by a fairly indie company, right? I feel like maybe... Look. I the voice acting wax. is where you can really you tell. Help your head slip out of the bars. Um, if that pleases you, sir, I'd be glad to let you do it, sir. Yes. Let's do this. Wax him up. All right. The bars are slippery, so time to push. <laughs> How did he even get his head in there? <laughs> It worked. Yes. This yes, one, sir. I'm glad that makes you happy, sir. And now, if you'll allow me, sir, I've already devoted a great deal of time to your service, sir. So, have a good morning, sir. Boom! So we freed him, and now we are able to try and find Snowy and the Professor. Oh, there he is. What is he doing? You there! Stop! Hey, you know him? You're the nitwit who knocked all the scripts on the ground! Uh oh I'm gonna say sorry. Oh, I'm very sorry. I was in a hurry. I didn't do it on purpose. You're sorry? Okay, sorry didn't Come happen, in, I think. And I'll give you a reason to feel sorry. My fists are eager to meet you. I'm sorry again, but I must decline your invitation. Let the nitwit go, brother. We don't want to disturb the boss while he's reading a new script. I remember him. From the book, he's like a like a rager. He's like an absolute psycho. Excuse me, sir. Is my dog Snowy? I've been looking all over the ship for you. Have you no shame? Get out of there right now. I'm sorry, sir. I feel like His gluttony a, has no limit. Is a bowl of nuts a good thing to feed a dog? Um, let's go. Did Snowy bother you? Did my dog bother you? A dog? I don't know of any dog, young man. Um, what are you doing? What are you doing there? Can't you see? I'm rowing. Oh, but your boat isn't in the water. That's right. You're very observant, young man. Um, you can't tell. I'm from a dog. Who's the eye doctor? I couldn't get you papyrus. Let's I not tried be rude. to retrieve your papyrus, but it blew overboard. 
My papyrus in the sea? Impossible. I still have it with me. What you that saw one? flying away was the prospectus of the travel agency. Odd. I distinctly heard you yelling the word papyrus. Um, okay, I have to say one of these things. Can you even tell a young man and a dog apart? Of course I can, young man. Dogs are all bark and no bite, whereas young men are no bark and all bite. Don't you think that maybe you're a little... Oh, no. See what you have done? Me. You and your innumerable questions have made me forget why I was rowing. A shame, indeed. <clears throat> All the same, questions are signs of an adventurous spirit. So I'll tell you a secret. A secret about something extremely secretive of the utmost. Oh, I love a good map. Tintin's farm is weird. So, this red mark on the map here is... The exact location of the Tomb of Kiosk! What do these hieroglyphs mean? They speak of the curse of Kiosk that afflicts anyone who tries to find his tomb. Actually, all the archaeologists who've endeavored to find it have disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Sounds like we've got a, oh, a mystery. What is that hands. curious symbol? I believe it must be the royal cipher of Kiosk. And I, Sophocles Sarcophagus, will be the first Egyptologist to reveal his tomb to the world. Oh. Oh no. It's crashed again. What's going on? Oh, it's still broken. Okay. So, um, the map has broken. So I'm going to have to try and figure out how to fix it or start the game new. And next bit of the video will be whichever I've done. So hopefully uh, it's not going to take me too long. Oh, okay. So I had to replay the whole start of the game again. But it seems to have worked. The problem is when I click on that, it um, it crashed the game. So let me just try this first, maybe. Oh, what is that curious symbol? I believe it must be the royal cipher of Kiosk. And I, Sophocles Sarcophagus, will be the first Egyptologist to reveal his tomb to the world. So, this red mark on the map here is... The exact location of the Tomb of Chaos. I do remember that little symbol in the bottom right being, like, all over the, the comic book, so I do recognise that. Hopefully what this do these hieroglyphs break. mean? They speak of the curse of Kiosk that afflicts anyone who tries to find his tomb. Actually, all the archaeologists who've endeavoured to find it have disappeared under mysterious circumstances. If oh, you're it didn't break. Why We're good. Join me in Port Said's old town tomorrow and we'll look for the tomb together. Certainly. We would like that. White snowy. Until tomorrow, then, dear friend. Goodbye, little man. <laughs> oh, uh, I beg your pardon, Captain. What an odd character. Hey, huh? clumsy old. Can't you look where you are going? Uh, I'm terribly sorry. I mistook you for a ventilator. Imbecile! Please, sir. Control yourself. The gentleman didn't bump into you deliberately. You impudent little whippersnapper. How dare you meddle? Hey, you two. What do I pay you for? Hmm? All right, here we go. We actually can play the game again. Gentlemen, there's no need for this. Oh. Someone could get hurt. 
It's a bad time to not be able to tell you left from right. Who's those? Who's those again? Not my nose. There you go. I'm, I'm back on top. I know what I'm doing. On the count of three. One. Two. Three. Smooth. You bungling bunch of bunglers. You call yourself bodyguards? Let's go. And you, you don't know who you're dealing with. The day will come when you'll regret ever having crossed my path. Remember my name. <laughs> I don't know his name. How funny. He didn't even say his oh, name. Okay. His face rings a bell, though. Oh man. So the next day, after a delicious breakfast, courtesy of a grateful and helpful waiter. All right, Snowy. We'll be arriving in Port Said in just a few hours. How do you want to spend time till mm. what? What's that? Does it smell odd? Oh, can you find where the smell is coming from, Snowy? Oh my goodness, with Snowy's nose. Um, I think I will probably leave it there and come back next time. I'm trying to do about half hour long videos. I think that's probably better than the long form that I was doing before, like of two to three hours. So I'm going to do this, finish up here. We had a little bit of trouble the first video back it uh it did not go completely to plan but when we come back we will be sniffing out the clues as snowy uh, and getting to the bottom of this sarcophagus treasure of kiosk stuff so uh yeah come back next time to see uh the continuation of the story of tintin and cigars the pharaoh and i will see you when i see you